little old Myrtle has got a bit of a problem. Because she's little, she hasn't got a lot of presence on the road. Because she's old, she's not fitted with any indicators. And I'm using this bike a lot more for commuting now. And people are completely ignoring my arm signals on roundabouts and things like that. And it's getting especially dodgy at night. So, let's have a look at fitting some indicators. If you're a purist, look away now. So I've gone online at the usual suspect places. I have got a, an LED indicator, two pin, some bar end LEDs, and a handlebar mount. Now that originally had a um, mom momentary switch in it, which I've swapped out for an on off on switch. So we'll get that fit to the bars. These things are chintzy as hell. Everything's done on a budget. We'll see how we go. I can maybe upgrade the lights at a later date. But the nut for doing it locking up is stuck on there. It's wedged. So first thing I'm going to do is sort that out. Shit threads. What do you expect for a fiver? Before we do anything else, I'm going to test it. Make sure everything works. That's working that way. There. Oh, drop it on the floor, that always works. And that works that way. So if we have, let's point them to the left. So orange is left. I reckon about there. Oh, that's good. Can that reach? Yes, it does. Three point three drill bit. Let's knock the burr off. Houston, we have a problem. Look at that. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Oh well, one with a file. And the grinder shut itself. He fucking caught all of that, didn't it? Twat. Let's take the burrs off. Right, let's do a test fit. Oh, that's annoying. Got a gap at the top. Nothing serious. I'll just sort that out somehow. I'll think of something. Right, just flip the bars over. Right, fish cable. Going fishing. from a negative first like and to feed that through there to that end Here. 
Right, change my mind. Orange is going to be the right. Because I can. Because I put the switch in the wrong way around. Plastic sheathing to go over there. Hello. And handily, there's a little hole in the yoga. I don't know if you can see it. It's where my finger is. straight through that hole she's quite tidy into the back of the headlight just a bit of blue just to stop it blue vibrating out annoying. I'm probably going to put some new bars on this then, because I'm an idiot. You stupid bum. So with these ends I'm just going with bullet connectors. Makes it easier to swap things about. I can see these coming off again. to repeat. Cables on these things are absolutely teeny tiny, they are dire. But if we get them to work, I managed to crimp them to get them to hold. Right, you going in there now. Come on. A few moments later. No, I didn't use a piece of steel rod to shove that cable up there in the slightest. No, I didn't. No, honestly. One eternity later. That's better. There we go, that's got it. <sighs> what a shit design. Which is B. B for battery, L for light. Luckily enough I've got a Lucas connector in there. thing about these Lucas connectors, everybody slags them off but they are handy for this sort of thing. Which is what they're designed for. That goes on b -b for battery. So annoyingly I just discovered I've got a flat battery. Well not flat 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 but flat enough. So on charge a little bit. Turning left. Okay okay it's quite bright out there so quite difficult to see. I don't need to adjust the speed of them either, I think they're alright. So hopefully people might notice them. Big bright LED headlight and people still miss it. Hope this has upset a few purists. Thanks for watching. <laughs>